Hi guys, as you can see behind me, I have something super cool to show you, a 3D automatic lawnmower. The kind guys at Motion have sent me the Yuka, and this thing is gonna make my 165 foot garden hopefully a breeze. I'm really excited to test it in my garden actually because I've seen a few reviews of these online and it's always gardens that are literally beautiful already and immaculate. And as you can see from my garden, out here at the window, it is far from picturesque at the moment. So, I have been sent the Yuka Series 3D Vision Robot Lawnmower. And this is something so cool. It works with Alexa, so you can literally just say, Alexa, please mow the back garden, and it gets going all by itself. It has these little cameras here, and it works through linking up to an aerial, which I've just put here for now where the patio will be going in the middle there. And that maps the GPS coordinates of where to go. And you simply walk it around the perimeter of your garden or where you would like to mow and tell it where to go and where not to go. So in my garden, for example, I will go out there in a second. You've got these three huge oak trees as well as some rose bushes and obviously bushes down either side as well and plants. So I don't want it to go there. So I just tell it not to go there and it does exactly what I ask it to do. It can cut up to 10 centimeters in height. And then these are some of the features here. So it only takes around 20 minutes to set up, which I can definitely back that up. All I basically had to do was set up the charging station, which I'll show you in a minute. And the aerial, which I'll also show you when I go outside. It's got multi-zone and no-go. So say if you've got gardens that are split into a couple of bits, you can tell it to go from A to B and where to go. You control it by using the app. It's got Google Assistant Alexa, like I said, and then it's got the 3D vision positioning and obstacle avoidance and also anti-theft with GPS tracking and the auto recharge, which I really want to show you. It's super cool. Um, basically, it has its own charging station and when it's feeling low on battery. So for example, this is quite a big garden here. I think it's about 63 feet. It was 165 foot, but we've extended out the back here, so it's smaller now and we will have a patio eventually. But when it's feeling low on charge, it literally just takes itself back to the charging station and charge itself. How cool is that? So all you'll need to do is have some power out in the garden um, and because you need to plug in the antenna and the charging station and then this yucca takes itself all the way back. But I think I need a name for it is the problem. So maybe I should call it Noah the lawnmower or I've got a friend called Doa. So maybe Doa the lawnmower and I can say, Alexa, get Doa the lawnmower going. Right, let's show you a bit more outside and I'll charge it up and I'll show you how it works. But before I do, I'll just do a quick twirl because it is a thing of beauty and I love the little windscreen wiper too. Amazing. Let's go outside. So the Yuka is charging outside and eagle-eyed viewers might notice that I've got the kit at the back now. So this is so cool. This can go and collect the grass obviously or even leaves or acorns and things like that which I'm really grateful for because I've got these three big oak trees here and this thing I can basically tell it where to deposit it. So I'm going to pick an area down at the end of the garden down here and I will tell it where to deposit the grass for now. So if you've got sort of a compost bin or something like that, an area like that, you can just tell it to go and put it there. And then what I'll basically do now is I'll get my foam, we're all connected up. Here's my pole we're connected to. So this is the receiver. This is gonna help us map the coordinates. So you know this is ready to go because the green light's on. I've got a temporary power supply out here for it. And this is flashing green just to show that this is charging as well. But I'll now use my phone to disconnect it from here. And then I have basically just have to take it around the perimeter, like I said previously, and then we're good to go. And I'll set up no-go areas like the trees and also tell it where to deposit the grass. So let's go. As you can see, just from these little bits here, there's lots of undulations and bumps and different level grass. It's certainly not a flat football pitch type lawn. So I wanna see how it gets on. You can start it on several settings. So I'm gonna start it on the highest one and then gradually 
get lower and lower and lower and see how it does but I'm basically going to do it from where it's sitting now around the perimeter here across the back in front of those laurel hedges round here and then for now I'm going to come round these trees here and then I'm going to tell it that these trees are no-go zone so no-go zone and everything in that way will be a no-go zone for now until it gets used to it because at the moment over here is too much of a building site and the rubble and sticks and things will just ruin the blades. Right, I'm now taking it to perimeter, so I press play. Start mapping the task area. And I slowly map the area. And then I just need to do my no-go zones around the trees. So on this first cut, I've decided to start it on the highest level, because as you can see, my garden is a bit rough and ready. So I just want it to take off that top layer of grass and just sweep up any of the acorns and twigs and things that are around. And then on the next go, I'll put it down maybe to halfway, maybe number four or five. Again, just to do it slowly, but surely the first time, because this garden hasn't been touched for nearly two years, really, while the building work's been going on. And then lastly, I'll put it on the lowest setting, and I'll do straight up and down lines to get that nice football pitch vibe, hopefully. And let's see how it gets on. So this is the beginning of the second cut. So I've lowered the setting to number three now. So it can still go a little bit lower. Um, it seems to want to start in that far left hand corner and then work its way back and forth from there. I'm probably gonna do a couple more different styles after this one. So this one's just an up and down in a football pitch style. But then after this, I might just do one where it can just do sweeping only. So I can ask it not to cut the grass and just do a sweep of all the twigs and things because where this hasn't been cut for nearly two years really um, as the yucca is cutting it's actually revealing lots of sticks and twigs and acorns and things that are really buried um, that I thought I'd cleared but clearly now the yucca is getting going it's doing such a good job it's revealing so much so I'll probably do a sweeping one after this and then I'll do one final one to show you and then we can compare everything before and after but it's looking really cool, I'm really impressed with it. Um, it's so many undulations and bumps in my garden and lots of bits, there's not even much grass there. It seems to just be coping with everything. If it gets stuck, it literally has a little maneuver where it backs up, goes left, goes right, tries turning the wheels in different direction um, just to get out of um, a little trap when it's, when it's caught. And it's just really cool how when it's low, up to about 15% battery, it then just takes itself back to the charger, which you'll see at the end of this in a second, and literally charge itself. So you could go on holiday and just leave it out there and just tell it to charge itself all by itself. Pretty cool. Um, and it will do that in a second once it's gone around the perimeter, I think three times, which you can change in the settings. 
but I've got it to go around three times and then return to the charger for the big finish. Check out what a great job it is doing. Oh, I'm so impressed. I can't believe how it has tamed this lawn. If I take you to what it was before, I had basically long, long, long grass like this throughout the whole garden. Twigs everywhere from my three oak trees here. And you can see it in action now. I'll go up to it in a second. But you can see what it's taking it down to in only a couple of goes. So I've got it mowing and sweeping at the moment. And it's actually in one of the trickier bits because there's hardly any grass here itself. And you can see how dirty it's got from how awful this garden currently is. But you can hear and see, if I get the camera in there, it's taking in the grass as well. And I get it right down low. And it's sweeping up these acorns and twigs and things like that, as well as cutting at the same time. I am seriously impressed. What is super, super cool is I've told it to dump all the grass over here. So this is only from it going for about half an hour. And you can see how bad this lawn was, is that this is what it's collected <laughs> so far. This big pile of grass and twigs and acorns and rubbish. I'm super, super impressed with it. I just need some rain now. It's, the grass is so, so yellow. Um, it's really struggling. Things that I really, really like about this so far is, it's, as I showed you when I was inside, it's such an easy setup. It actually took me half an hour to put everything together, including the sweeper kit at the back. So the sweeper kit at the back just has a separate battery that you need to install, but it was so easy just to click in and work. And um, that was probably half an hour, 40 minutes top to set up. And then what I did was set up the charging station up here, which was a bit of a mistake because it's so long up here. I should have done it further down the house. But as you can see from this and the satellite sensor here, everything can be wireless on your perimeter, which is great. So what I'm gonna eventually do is take some power down the side here and I'm gonna mount a socket into here. So then just the charging station and the perimeter and the satellite can just literally plug in into there. And then what it does when it needs to recharge, which I'll show you in one of the videos, is it literally just takes itself back to there to charge, which is so cool. What I really like about this is I've seen a lot of these in really, really nice gardens. They're literally like football pitches. But as you can see from this garden, particularly this area it's in now, it's awful. No, it's not even grass in some of this bits. There's all these acorns, lots of twigs and things falling from the trees. And it still managed to do a good job. And when it gets stuck, it's really clever. The wheels just spin in different directions and it basically rotates until it frees itself again. Which I think is really clever just in case you're away and you've got it going and it gets stuck. And one of the other things, I'll put a little video up in, in line with this one, is it's got a little camera on board. So when, you, when you're not at home or you're on holiday or whatever and you want to set it go, you can actually watch it mowing the lawn, which is super unnecessary, but super cool. It's something I absolutely love. Really pleased with the cutting length of it as well. Let's show you some other areas where it hasn't been. And then you can see the difference. So all around this oak tree, is somewhere I told it not to clean, a no-go zone. And this is what it was before. So it's nearly, was well, probably over a foot high, maybe nearly two feet high of grass where we haven't done anything to it since we bought the house 18 months ago. And it's turned it from this into this. And what I'm basically doing now, I'm having one last cut, then I'm gonna water it. And what I want it to do is a couple of rounds of sweeping once that's all dried after that, because it's, I've asked it to cut without sweeping, so it's left loads of this grass, and then now I'm gonna ask it to go around and just do a sweeping cycle, just to get all of that, and then I'll pile it up. And the eventual plan is to get some compost bins back there, and I can make sure it gets it all free. Only other things to mention are, it has a jaw cut in place, so a few people have pinged me a message when I put this on Instagram about how wide it cuts. It cuts about 320 mil, 
of a dual cutting blade. It's basically six blades on the bottom that rotate. Um, and it seems to be really good. And I'll also put some footage up of a nicer garden, my mum's garden, which I tested it on as well, because this is such an awful garden that this stain is doing such a good job. So I took it to my mum's garden where it's a lot nicer. And you can see how nice that looks currently in line with this footage now. As I said, there's no faff in setting it up, about half an hour to set it up, maybe another 10 minutes for the additional back sweeper kit. Um, there's no cable needed, you just need a power socket somewhere in your garden. They do give you really long wires though on the charging station and the satellite um, aerial, but um, it's better to keep it all tight just for foxes and things I think. So only one socket needed, really good cut and I love, the main things I love is that A it takes itself back to charge when it gets down to about 15%, that's super super cool. Um, so in a garden like this, it actually did do this back garden in less than the time from 100% to 15%. But if you've got a really big garden or you're asking it to cut twice when it gets low, 15% battery, take yourself back to the charger, which is pretty, pretty cool too. And then yeah, dual cutting plate of 320 mil and also the camera on board is just super unnecessary, but super cool, I love it. And there's even a camera that also um, goes up into the sky as well. So maybe if you weren't at home, you can, um, look and see if the, the weather's worth cutting or it's just rained and actually while i'm here i'm going to show you something because it's just going off to do a dump run as well so i'll show you that so obviously i've showed you i've set it all off over here i've done it to 10 square meters of cutting so it's done it's 10 square meters and then it will go off and do a little maneuver in there and back it off the big mistake i did make was not setting a big enough area so I just had to sweep this away. I just did, literally did a little one square by one meter square area when I should have done a much, much bigger area because I didn't realize how much rubbish was in this garden and it's slightly too much for it to deal with sometimes. As you can hear, it tells you as well when it's um, having any problems and you also get notifications to your phone as well I don't know why this bit is so exciting but it really is it's just so cool there we go look at all that that's just from 10 square meters so you can see why I've got this massive pile here and I've also got a massive pile over here where I set up the first area too and then you can totally see why I need this to go and go and go for at least another few weeks before I get it up to scratch. And then that's it now, it will just, it'll just go back to where it ended. So it knows where it's been. It knows it's, it always starts in this corner. So it'll probably come up to here and it's done probably to about there. It all just comes up there, it just does a nice long run. And this is probably where the grass is looking best because it's not under the oak trees and we've actually had a teeny bit of rain on it. But still, I'd love to have shown you this in a couple of weeks when it's gonna be super nice and green we've had a bit of rain but we've had an awful awful dry spell but you can see between the before and after how much better it's looking so I really really recommend it I think it's so cool basically it's from this over here behind me to this and I haven't had to lift a finger